So these are 10 of the best free market research tools that the world's most successful businesses are using to understand their audience, spot opportunities, and beat the competition. The most powerful free tool out there is still Google Trends. Google Trends lets you see what people are searching for. It's one of the best ways of understanding the popularity of a topic, theme, or idea. You can find out if interest in the topic is going up, whether the topic has passed its peak, whether things are seasonal, how the popularity of one topic compares to another, and much more. It's easy to use, incredibly powerful, and something you should definitely be using. Answer the Public is based on Google search data as well, but is more of like an extension to Google Trends. And what Answer the Public does that Google Trends doesn't is that it lets you see what things people are searching for related to the topic you're interested in, in loads more detail than you can get from Google Trends. So if I'm interested in launching a new business, it can give you ideas from what type of product to launch, all the way to what kind of content I should be creating. It's great for identifying the specific things that people are interested in related to the topic you're looking at, so you can come up with those relevant product, marketing, and content ideas. The challenge with Google Trends and Art to the Public is they don't tell you how many people are actually searching for the terms you're interested in, and that's where Google Keyword Planner comes in. As well as the approximate amount of monthly searches, it will also quickly tell you how competitive that search term is and therefore the level of competition in that space. It will also quickly let you find out if there are other topics where there are more searches or less competition. It was a tool that was initially designed to help you get a better understanding of keywords that you need to optimize for your SEO, but smart people are using it to understand things more broadly. Now, before you know what to search for within these tools, you need to come up with that idea in the first place. And if you're looking for inspiration, the advertising giant Wonderman Thompson comes out with their annual list of the top 100 trends to watch. Now, not everything in this huge PDF will be relevant for you, but the 100 trends are divided into themes. So a quick scroll through could lead you in a direction of that winning idea that you can apply to your business right now. These trends are also usually ahead of the game, so you can often go back and see what last year's top 100 trends are, and they're usually still relevant. You can find a link to access this document as well as everything that I talk about in this video below. Believe it or not, TripAdvisor is one of the most useful market research tools out there and very few people are using it. It's brilliant for coming up with ideas for new businesses or to grow your business. TripAdvisor gives you access to quickly see what businesses, ideas and marketing tactics are already working in other countries around the world. Simply choose the business you're in or looking at starting and then choose a large city in the world. Good choices are often places like New York, San Francisco, London, Tokyo. Hit search and have a look at the top five to 10 business that it picks out. And then look at the comments and see what it is that is driving people to these businesses. Similar to TripAdvisor, Amazon is a treasure trove for ideas and all the insights can be found in the reviews. Simply search for the product or even a book that covers a topic that's relevant to your business idea and then scroll all the way down to the reviews. Now, five star reviews will generally give you an idea of what the product does well and therefore why people bought it and why they'll buy it again. Three and four star reviews will often tell you the things that the product can do better at and should give you lots of ideas how you can go one better. Whilst the lowest reviews will tell you what the product is really missing out on and where the opportunities are for a different product idea. Now asking people questions is the original market research and putting together a survey allows you to get answers to these questions really quickly. Now there are loads of different platforms out there that you can use, some may be more relevant to you than others. I put together a video up here uh, that you can click on to find out more. But if I had to choose a platform that would allow you to do a lot of different things for free, then it would be Jotform. Jotform is easy to use. You can create surveys and questionnaires in seconds. There are both visual templates and questionnaire templates, so where the questions have already been put together for you, so you don't have to start from scratch. It makes it easy to use, quick to put together, and really easy to send out to your customers or people you want to get feedback from. The challenge with Jotform is that you may not know enough people to send the survey to, and this is where Google Survey steps in. Google Surveys allows you to ask questions of random people. To ask these people questions, you will need to pay a little bit of money. 
but for as little as $10, you can get the opinions of 100 people and get the results in as little as 24 hours. Another one of the most effective ways of doing market research, as scary as it sounds, is to go and talk to real people. And this is something a lot of people do when you're at the start of an idea, when you want to find out if other people think it's good. The challenge is often when we go and ask people their opinion, they lie to us. And that's because we don't really engage them in the right way. The Mum Test is a book that tells you how to speak to people to get feedback that will be useful and impactful. It's easy to read and understand. And it's also one of the few books that the best incubators in the world recommend to all their startup. So have a read and you can check out my video here where I cover my top three tips from the book. SparkToro lets you see where on the internet your target audience are hanging out. You provide the starting point, like a website or social account that they're likely to follow, and then SparkToro will tell you what other websites they visit, what other YouTube channels they watch, Twitter handles they follow, and much more. It's really powerful to get inspiration for topics, to understand what communities you should be engaging in, and even where you should be targeting your marketing. So which tool should you start with? Well, the YouTube algorithm knows you far better than I do. And it thinks that the video you can see on your screen right now is where you should be starting. So click that to find out more.